What up everybody and welcome back to Chat and Chill. Hey, this is a very special episode. Um, if you don't remember episode 4, um, me and the cast member and John Wesley, we were wearing specialised hats by Original Heritage. They were beautiful hats, you know, they, they basically represent different African cultures. I believe he's now going into the Caribbean culture as well a little bit in the yeah, future. A couple out. snippers there, so he's branching out. Um, so, you know, you know, I'll give it back to man like Bless, bro. Blessing, blessed. His name, even his name, like, yeah, ladies, man, take a you. note, bro. Like, his name is that good. Good to be here, thank you, bro. Thank you, appreciate it, man. Um, you know, now that you're here, you might as well tell us a little bit more about your habits. Okay, um, so where should I start? So, yeah, like... Start at, um, how you came up with the idea. Um, basically, there's a thing whereby I was just sick and tired. You know, like, in this day and age, you see people rapping on these, like, uh, sort of, like, Designers, the yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got Louis V, you've got Gucci, yeah. mm. Gucci everything. It's like, okay, guys, can we like stop <laughs> perpetuating the stereotypical, you know, like, oh, it's for you to have, to be like deemed as making it, yeah, to yeah, wear yeah. certain brands. Yeah. So I was like, you know what, as Africans, we should just set ourselves apart and just have something that you know reflects us as Africans. So you mean like represent our culture, kind of? Thing. Basically, yeah. Wow. So your background, mm. your your origin, but at the same time. I was tired of seeing like the typical, what do you call this, kente cloth type of thing. <laughs> so like most times people when they design things for Africans, yeah. like they try to bring in this like, oh let's, let's put some kente on there. Yeah, they do that. It's like, like yeah. oh it's too much, like what well, if I just want that European feel but it still resonates with Africa. So I was like, right, let me sit down. So, let's start. This is Nigeria, right? That's a Nigerian hat. Nigerian hat right here. So you can take it out the bag. Take it out of the bag, yeah. Okay. Actually, this actually wore it. Actually, this is the hat I wore in Nigeria. Wait, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. It's upgraded. This is leather. Yeah, it's upgraded now. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. The material, okay. Yeah, you'll see it up okay. close. We're going to do some up close shots in a bit. Now, these are not close shots, anyways, but damn, this is sweet as well. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you really upgraded this to last time I saw I'm it. trying, bro. I'm this trying. Is a, this is a dope hat, you know. Because uh, I always yeah. like to, to. Thank you. Thank you. I always like to go with the sort of like the the feedback I get from people. Yeah. So I was getting a lot of people saying like, you know what, yeah, we're, we're tired of the cloth brim. So mm. can you make it different so that yeah. it needs to make separates me from like the the regular twenty pound hat. Okay. Yeah. So being something that's a bit premium. So I was like, right, mm. cool. This is what we'll do. So for any Nigerians or anybody that wants this hat, what's the price for this one, right? That one is twenty five. Twenty five. Oh, it's affordable. This is decent. I know you can't see it right now, but I do we'll do a close up one. It has a string as well, which I think yeah. I remember where if you remember channel <laughs> channel four, you remember episode four, that was one thing I said that I think separated him that like, he's added different material, like obviously he, he put the whole height with different material now. So he's definitely separated himself from the typical kind of snapbacks. Um, or even new era hats with having, you know, different material like, even on the inside, that is it's it will keep you warm. Yeah, it will keep you warm, <laughs> keep you insulated. Even Dope. for all you ladies out there, it's not going to be pulling on your, on your weave. Or and it's also like got, um, which I do another close up for, but uh, like a little, you know, Independence Day from Nigeria, the motto, which is unity and faith, peace and progress. We've got Anthem, Arise. Uh, what arise all comparison. Like it's dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you are, even if you aren't from this country, or from Nigeria or any other country, it's like you can learn about the heritage while I was wearing the hat. I think one key thing that sets them apart as well, if you look at the back there, the flag, so every country is always going to have its flag. So, in keeping with what he was mm. just saying right now, is this is the design. So, it's inspired, obviously, this is inspired to represent Nigeria as a whole. Mm. You've got the logo on the side, you've got the flag on the back for Nigeria and yeah. inside you've got the information for yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. Mm. And pretty much that's uniform across the whole range of the hats. But no. So what other what other countries we got today? So today, because um Episode four was it? Yeah. yeah episode four we wore Zimbabwe. We only had Zimbabwe and Nigeria at that time. Oh yeah, you yeah. Did. Oh. Yeah, did. You know what? I'll give you a quick shit right now of the hats. <coughs> Hi and welcome to Chat and Chill. So those were the hats that we wore on that episode and now you've obviously upgraded. We've upgraded, we've added four more countries. 
which was basically the target from the start to say like every bi-monthly yeah. or monthly depending on demand we're going to be releasing hats yeah, for different yeah. countries yeah. so the idea is basically if you were to let's say notice that your country is not there mm. hit us up let us know there's interest yeah, yeah, yeah get yeah. people to actually bug us then we'll make these hats for you so like i said the four new additions we have um in addition to nigeria and zimbabwe is kenya Ooh. We've got DRC Congo there. Hey. There's actually one hat that I'm excited to see, guys. If you lot ain't really know yet. Um, Should hey. I just go through them, yeah? Two more. So we've got Kenya, yeah. Congo, and um, Kenya, Congo. Woo. We've got Black Stars. Any Black Stars in the house? Ghana there. Who is this one again? Oh, Dominican Republic, yeah? DRC Congo. <laughs> I said Dominican Republic. That's what I bet in Congo. <laughs> that's what you meant. I thought so. I thought so. Hey, this is a look at that. That's a dope hat, man. This no, is look. like a real like holiday. So, sorry to cut you off, but yeah. one that's gonna be close to your heart. Ah, it's in the Uganda thing. <laughs> your thing. Yeah. Uganda thing there. Ah, if you like, if you didn't know, I'm from Uganda, right? So this is. But now you know. The secret's up. This is. Oh my dear. This is special, man. Yeah, that's. Ah, this that's is there. this is lit. So to all my Ugandans out there. Hurry up and grab one, innit? This is lit. This is lit. I'm about to grab one as well, actually. I said I was going to grab one time ago, but I didn't want the time to do that. Actually, guys, you said you're going to grab 10, but. <laughs> I did say that. Do you know what? Do you know what it was? He it was, was going to be responsible family. family, but you know, he changed his mind. I don't know. I didn't change my mind. I don't know what happened. I haven't gone to your camp yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to go in there, but I had to cancel the trip. That's all right, bro. You won't go, though. So this is the Uganda, so this is definitely close to my heart, right there. Yeah. And then this is the last one that you took to me. So imagine like when I met him, he had basically just started his business and now it's like, it's a huge progress right now, it's beautiful to see. So that's another hat right there, again, same thing. Can you guess from the front what country that is? Ghana. Yeah, G. <laughs> Football, isn't it? Of course, how could I forget? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would true. never know country's colours if it wasn't for football. I'll be honest. You know what? You're not the first person to say that. Like, I just wouldn't remember anything. Like, yeah, like, um, especially with Nigeria because it's the eagle. Like, even the flying eagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Status a bit big. Like, even people that. If he was white and you just saw that, you're going to say Germany. <laughs> Yeah, people say that as well. Yeah, yeah. Cause you you know Europe, but when it comes to Africa, it's not really promoted like that. How sad is that? Yeah, and how just, sad is that? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's so. like yeah. So it needs these, to change. These are all the hats. We're gonna do some close ups in a minute. So you'll see them properly. Um, in t talking of our original heritage, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously looking to expand to um the Caribbean, mm -hmm. looking at Jamaica and all that. Are you looking to ever bring in European hats? And stuff like that. Time will tell. Because I was thinking. Time will tell. But African Cup of Nations, man, you need to get yourself sponsored for that. That has to happen. I mean, you're, you're not... spilling all the good stuff, man. No, they're not going to be surprised anymore. We want them to follow us on the journey so that they yeah. know what's happening. You it's know? true, it's true. Yeah, I'm not going to spill everything right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Let them find that. Let them find that. Yeah. Um, tell us your websites and where they can find your stuff. So, websites, they're. Down in the link below, I yeah. hope. Yeah, yeah definitely be the link below. You link know, below. I'll put it right here. Yeah. So the website is original-heritage.com. Or if you're lazy to remember original-heritage.com, there's also OGHstore.com, which links to original heritage. Mm. And with that being said, in the day and era we're in, that majority of people, 8 or 10 people, will have Instagram. If you just go on Instagram, Original Heritage, one word, Original Heritage, the link is in the bio, and you can sort of like follow up progress through Instagram, because I'm really active on Instagram. Yeah. I think it's like the quickest way to just put our products and you know, our story and our campaign to yeah. say like, um, why are we doing what we're doing most times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you check it out, I don't know what day this is going to go out on, but if you see there's three posts that I posted on the basically three articles talking about how great Africa was so to the point that we don't even know we've been brainwashed to the point where we don't realize that Africa was greater than the Ro Roman Empire because mm. we were in actual like competition just like mm. the Roman Empire 
Damn. Yeah. That's they're the cool. richest, I'm sure most people know this, but mm. the richest man who ever lived, mm. yeah, Mansa Musa, mm. to that according that like, even like adjusted to today's inflation, mm -hmm. he would have been worth just over four hundred billion. Yeah. And um, that's crazy. That's crazy. The richest man today, I forgot yeah. his name. It's no longer Bill Gates. He's worth. It's not Bill Gates. Gates. It's not Bill Gates anymore. Wow. Because today is what twenty the twenty sixth. Yeah, twenty sixth yeah. January twenty eighteen. It's no longer Bill Gates. I think that changed like three weeks ago. I forgot his name. Oh, just three weeks. Ago. Just three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, he just got okay. a ticket. It was number two is now number one. He's yeah. worth like his net worth is like a hundred and. Twelve billion. Dope. Bill Gates is like eighty-six billion. So, Damn. in regards to numbers, never lie. Mm. Mansa Musa, the richest man, he was a philanthropist as well. Basically, yeah. he like destabilized the Egyptian sort of like um, economy because that's how much money he gave away. Wow. You know, on his pilgrimage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like to to Mecca, he yeah. was given a he had a boatload. Mm. He had a big entourage. Mm -hmm. And uh, camels carrying, just literally weighed down by gold, and he was giving that away yeah. so much to the point that, as um, ten years, like the Egyptian economy was affected for ten years yeah. because of how much gold he gave up. Damn. If you know, obviously, how money yeah, works yeah, yeah. and the circulation of money, mm. the more that's out there, the less it's valued. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. gave away so much gold. He built um, mosques. I mean, a myth. There's a myth to say like every other Friday you would build a mo that mosque. Yeah. <laughs> what balling is that? <laughs> I'm just yeah, we're just yeah. I feel like mosque, mosque, mosque. Yeah. So that's, that's crazy. I want to bring this to light. This is what I want to bring to light. Say yeah. like, yo, Africans, can we not forget our heritage and how great we have been and how great we can still be? Mm. Look at the way like even like uh, cultural appropriation goes. Yeah, within yeah. this day and age, be it music, be it style, like yeah, it irks my heart. Yeah, when you yeah. like um, when you see all these beautiful queens out there, yeah, basically like um, you know, at one point you, they used to get like um, you know, slandered for that our big lips. Oh yeah. What do the Hollywood stars do? I mean, this is old news. Most people, yeah. obviously, we know this. Like most people, just I even tired of talking about it. I'm just talking about it because. This is the foundation of why I started this. Mm, mm, mm. It's not even just a monetary thing, it's a thing about a legacy. 100%. Putting myself out there. Mm. You know? So you're, bas you're basically celebrating black culture. I was born and raised in Zimbabwe myself. I moved here when I was 10. Um, so a good chunk of my life has literally just been in the UK. So it's like, yo. Do you go back home a lot? No, I've only been back twice, unfortunately. I'd love to go back a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I last went back in 2015, but that's the last time I went yeah. back 2015. Yeah. Well, actually, I went back 2014. I was there for 10 months. I did not want to come back. I didn't want to come back. I went for one month, I came back and went back. <laughs> well, I, I went originally for three months, and I was just like, um, I'll extend. Because I just graduated. Yeah, oh, from uni? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you study at uni? I did information systems and business management. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I did. So you're qualified in your field? I'm qualified <laughs> on paper. <laughs> <laughs> qualified on paper. You know, yeah. you know when you do things, you, you do it for the fan. You do it for yourself as well, but you, you get to some point and you're like, um, Let's try something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's try something else. So, are you also looking to connect with um, like other brand stores, you know, like an Asus or uh, I don't know, JD? I mean, like you're trying to look, you're looking to branch into other people's stores or open up your own store. I mean, opening up my own store would be sort of like a pinnacle to reach. Yeah, but it's not. The main focus right now. Of course, of course. Yeah, you're just, you're just starting up. Yeah, just starting up, and yeah. in terms of like cost wise, it's really not wise. Yeah. Branching out in terms of like retailers, mm -hmm. um, distributors, even like on a on a one to one basis. If anyone knows, like they've got a reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah look. Listen, we're all here to to basically at the end of the day to to support one another. Hundred percent. So if you are if you think you're capable enough to actually sort of like. Bring something to the table. 
Who, hear me out. Hit you up. The DMs are open. One thing I wanted to ask: um, if you're, if there's any models, because I know I'm, most of my viewers are female. Okay. Um, so if you're like a model or anything like that, is there a way they can like, hit you up? You know, brand ambassador deals and anything like that you're looking at at the moment. Hundred um, percent. It's something yeah. that I'm always looking into because like. It's all about networking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything's all about networking. So the best way to reach me would be through basically any of the socials. Okay. That that's because cool. we're on that. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't really have a store to manage. Yeah. But our socials. So they can hit you up and hit us up. You know. Make sure you've got more than my age. Just, make sure you've got decent followers. Though. I don't want to see like 10 followers. <laughs> like <that's>, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're willing to like basically like London based. Anything that you see on my, on the on the Instagram page, like those are the people who reached out to me or I've reached out to them to say like this is what I do. Yeah. Do you want to work together? And then likewise, it's like we build a relationship, and from then on, you never know where it's gonna go. Cause like literally we have a plan to say like where we are right now mm. in the future if we continue to have that relationship like we met in July last year innit? Yeah, we met in July. Just after July, yeah. I think it was either early August or late July. Yeah. So it's it's always it's like a personal but at the same time it's like a it's a there's a camaraderie there. Yeah. So it's like yeah. we're great to know each other like in terms of like business he supports me, I support him. I'm like yo so how's everything Yeah, going? we literally kept doing yeah. actually a time. It's funny story. We was on FaceTime for about what four hours, <laughs> and this guy wanted he was he was coming to an event and he wanted me to do like some slideshow, a, a promo video, <laughs> which we never used. And God bless this guy, man. This guy, yeah. now nah, trust me, I was I was vexed. This guy literally just out of the kindness of his heart was just like there helping me, and I'm so picky as well with things. I was just like, nah, I don't like it. But obviously we're working together, we're trying to help yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. But he's so patient, this guy, and it's just like, oh, wow. And you meet those sort of people. So, in regards to that, if you're willing to work, you're willing to work as well. So, hundred percent, yeah. Man. I think it's all about networking. Yeah, exactly. um, if you do have events that are coming up, do hit him up as well. He'll be happy to come down and set up like a workshop. Tell us about your charity work. I believe you do charity with, with within. You know the, the prices that you sell out, so I believe that ten percent. Talk to us about that, and also talk to us about what made you want to, you know, give back at the same time. Because that's like a beautiful thing. A lot of people don't do that anymore. Okay. So talk to us about, you know, the ten percent and what you hope to achieve with that. Yeah. Um. So from the ten percent that's taken out of every purchase, we then give it to, let's say, um, an individual okay. in a particular school. Mm -hmm. So we have a relationship set up. Mm. Be it, let's say, if it's in Zimbabwe, mm. we have a relationship whereby we have anyone who um, isn't capable of paying their way, okay. and then basically that money will just be going towards the school. Mm. So we'll be like a parent rather than the money going to the parent mm. and then going to the school because you never know. Yeah, I'm Because you know, sometimes people will be skimping off the top. Yeah. They'll say one thing or yeah. something else is happening. Exactly. So we wanna be we wanna cut out the middleman so much that we're not approaching like a charity that's established already. Mm -hmm. So we wanna have clarity, we wanna have hundred percent sort of like um mm -hmm. of of a view of how the money is moving. Yeah from yeah. from yeah. us to the school yeah. to the child. So three points. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like us, charity, no. Um, they are counting. <laughs> the, the parent, uh, the auntie, the school. Now I see like that hundred pounds is gonna be chopped up to thirty pounds when it gets there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas like, if it's just straight hundred pounds, we'll probably get there like as ninety. <laughs> no, I get that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not just like um, it, it, you can maximize the use as well. Mm -hmm. So it can even be like hundred pounds because it's Africa, yeah. yeah. I don't want. I don't want to talk it down because, like, obviously, like price-wise, things are expensive in Africa. People don't really like things are expensive. KFC is like Ramsey's Kitchen. Yeah, expense is an expense. Yeah. You know, a chicken is a chicken. So it's gonna be like there's no no two ways about it. Yeah. But with that being said, the kid, the child's tuition is paid anyway. So we can even have it to the point where, like, as the brand grows, yeah. we then sponsor more kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hundred percent. 
as opposed to just like saying like you're yeah, referring money to a charity. Uh, so you are. There's no transparency there. That's we don't cool. want. We don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. We don't want to have that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're sort of like currently in the stage of setting up. Mm. Yeah. But the money, like from the sales, the mm. profit, ten percent. So this had mm -hmm. being twenty pound. The profit of that after expenses and everything, we take that twenty percent. Sorry to like obviously over explain, but no, you have to, you have to, you know, it's a business. Yeah. So it's like most people were like uh, are surprised. Most people would just be like, oh, ten percent is not even like it's not that much. But it's like I could choose to do this. I could choose not to do this. But mm -hmm. this is my basis of the foundation of the company. It's like yeah, you need yeah. to give something back. Mm. So that's how it's going to be set up. Simple, straightforward, you yeah. know. Now I think that's a beautiful thing because a charity is something I've always wanted to do. I've just never known how to do. But that's basically original heritage. That's original heritage. Come and grab your hat at the website in the link in the description below. I'll probably put it on screen as well. Um, his Instagram as well is um, probably on screen right now and the link in the description below. Again, if you're a model, you want to do any modeling work or something like that, do hit him up. And um, also, if you want to purchase it or you find any troubles, hit him up. Mm. Do follow him as well, that's very important. Follow him if you do purchase it. Take a picture, show us that you actually purchased the app so that we know. And then, you know, so this is another promo right here. Partnership will be happening soon, hopefully. You know, we never know what happens, but would we'll work out something there. Maybe get a coupon code in the future. You never know. Mm. But definitely purchase is my good friend as well. So, you know, even without a partnership, they still going to promote his crap. Not his crap, I'm joking. But <laughs> his work. So, you know, again, if you're Ugandan, guys, I'm doing this on purpose because I know that my family watch it. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all my cousins that watch these videos, you look, if I don't see one of you guys with these hats, a weird family, bro. <laughs> That's snaky. But, um, anyways, thank you for coming through. I really appreciate that. Um, again, like I told you guys, I will do a close-up shot right now before he goes and stuff, so don't worry about that. Uh, don't forget, every Monday, every Friday, 8 for 8 p.m. for the Chatting Show Show. Also, every day, new seven minutes go. There's actually one up um, right now, so it doesn't really matter what time this day the video comes up. There's one up right now.